Russia breaking international law, turmoil in North Africa and the Middle East, the refugee and migration crisis, international terrorism, hybrid warfare, and cyber attacks. These are pressing challenges requiring unity and resolve and a strong transatlantic bond. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. NATO is united. We stand together as one. You're good. Okay. Right and an attack on one ally will be considered an attack against us all. We are shifting from assurance to deterrence. And USRA has been leading the way here in the change we have in Europe. With the uh, deployment of the 3rd Brigade Combat Team 4th Infantry Division is a visible sign of the continued U.S. commitment to peace and security on the continent of Europe. The readiness of our land forces is always going to be an essential part of deterrence. It requires capability. It requires to demonstrate the will to use that capability. An important part of that is speed. We've started with recent exercises, working on all the things that we need to do to be able to move quickly, assemble quickly, and deter possible aggression. The number of troops we have in Europe forward station today on a permanent basis is somewhere around 30,000 or so. That is significantly smaller than we've had in decades past. So the rotational forces play a key role in that. Have that ability to project that combat power, ultimately deter any aggression. It's easy to say on paper this can be done. And, you know, we're doing it on a small scale. But if we can rapidly deploy from that port to anywhere in Western Europe and then pushing as far as to Poland, we have that capability. Army Reserves and National Guard units are the lifeblood of making 30,000 soldiers look like 300,000 soldiers. And they are working and training with our multinational partners and allies here in Europe. And this is the way we're going to fight conflicts in the future. So if we're going to fight this way, we need to train this way. You know, how you build a relationship, it has to be founded on trust. And then we have to have continuity. And so the state partnership program, to me, provides those two things. When we're trying to build long-term relationships. We know that we need each other, but we know also that we can rely on each other. We've experienced that in many missions where we have been working and fighting shoulder by shoulder. Dynamic presence here in USERU is really centered around one key concept. We take every opportunity with our units, partners, and allies to get after real readiness, from the tough issues such as freedom of movement all the way down to the training at the very lowest levels. It's hard and it's realistic. It is critically important that our junior leaders be able to work with their allies and our partners to practice their trade, to excel beyond what they consider to be their capabilities because we challenge them at every turn to be leaders. Right now we're proving a capability that through our readiness we can work hand in hand with our allies ready to execute an operation. Oh, 